All right, we're doing a video on uh, rooting sweet potatoes. Uh, I was looking on on uh, Facebook this morning, and uh, there was a uh, a series of uh, comments on a post asking about rooting uh, sweet potatoes, and it was fairly clear from several of the ones that I was reading that they had actually never rooted sweet potatoes before. And uh, anyway, I thought we'd do uh, a really quick little video on rooting some sweet potatoes. We have a quite a number of them already rooted and, and ready to go and looking very nice. We had some a couple of months ago and the frost got them and they don't look nearly as nice. They're kind of a little sad. But anyway, these were picked this morning out when we're on our tub and they have no roots whatsoever. People were talking about, what do you do to root them? What do you, how do you root them? How, what do you do? And basically all we do is, uh, you put coffee in there and you put, put some water. And water. Coffee and water in our jar. And these guys were <laughs> done this morning. Somebody picked them. Somebody picked them this morning and uh, brought them in. And you can see there's no roots on any of these. Um, and as you can also, if you can, there's I don't know if coffee. you can see it very well. There, 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 there. I, I don't know if you can see it very well, but the leaves are very, very pale. This morning, back up a little bit so I can see. This morning when he first picked them, they were even paler than that. Um, they they looked like, you know, you could almost like see through them. They were so pale. And uh, people were saying, well, you can't, you know, you, you can't just root them in water because, and I, and, and I've only just this year started doing it in, in a mixture of coffee and water. Um, but they say they don't work. Can't the roots won't you know won't survive? Well, these and guys here. Sure, and we have a pig. Yes, these guys here were done a couple of weeks ago, actually about a week ago, and uh, you can see they got a nice set of roots. Show them our pig, Marion. Wait, right, let's do this, baby. Got a nice set of roots, and you're in the way. <laughs> We got a nice set of roots on on most of these. This one here doesn't, but he also doesn't have any leaves. He's got a couple little roots. But anyway, we're gonna put these into dirt, and we're uh, actually at a time now where it's about time to start putting them into the ground. Now I'm a little bit low on dirt, but I gotta dig one out of the barn. So I'm gonna move this back here, and all I do is I take a tray. You can do a six pack. You can do pretty much whatever. And I hold one, two, three, four, five, six. So I got six. I think I have enough dirt for the six. And all you got to do is basically take a hold of the plant and hold it up a little bit and then Pour the root, pour the dirt down into the root. And uh, this works, for all intents and purposes, this works 100% of the time. Um, and you can grow your own starts for sweet potatoes. And this dirt is dry. And I got a root that didn't want to go in all the way. There it goes. I got a root that didn't want to go in all the way. This dirt is dry. And what I will do is I'll set them down into a bucket over there that has water in it. I'm a little bit low on dirt. I gotta go get some dirt here in a minute out of the shed. But this is plenty for just the six that I'm gonna be doing right now. We cover them up. They stand up right nice. And then I will take them and set them into the tub over here. Woo! Sweating all in my glasses. Playing playing water balloons with a boy earlier and just set them down into the tub with some water. So you got a nice little bit of water in there and set them down in there. Move these out of the way. And usually I will just pour a little bit of water in there. Get them good and wet. And they usually do not even show a shock from this. They'll be they won't show any shock. They won't do anything like that. And by Thursday or Friday, you will have, today is uh, 
Sunday. Today is Sunday. By Thursday or Friday, those guys could, could go on the ground. And uh, I'll show you a root off of one of these. Let's see if I can get him up without damaging him any. All right, that one don't want to come up as easily. Let's see. Let's see if this one will come up to be a little more cooperative. There we go. As you can see, we got a nice little set of roots in there. And all of these were done the exact same way. So if you're wanting to do sweet potatoes, they're about as simple as anything can possibly be. And uh, just just go ahead and stick them in some water, cut the roots, the, the, the sprouts out, and uh, put them in some water and let them sit for a few days to a week and or whenever you get ready to do it. I've had some that I've had in the water for two and three weeks before I put them in the dirt. So, all right, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.